but uh, they was like wanted to really try out hard here because this is gonna be like the first like major that Bash had gone to. But we're gonna have Richter versus Ridley. All right, it's gonna be interesting. I mean, a character like Ridley, you're gonna have a bit of trouble getting actually in at all. And once you get hit once, that should be a juggle situation. Yeah, especially being so light. Like Ridley's gonna die to be edge guard uh, pretty early. Oh, but this man kind of working him across the stage right now. And yes, don't just let the Belmont oh. come in for free. Accidentally save him, but he had to. Yeah, he wouldn't have made it back himself yeah. if he didn't uh, save. But advantage is still in uh Rip. in Bash's favor. That's the thing that I was talking about earlier. When you can give these Belmonts, they, they become a non-issue. But it's just getting in to knock them off the stage in the first place. That's such a troll uh, issue. I mean, it really comes down to just how how good they are at throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Bash kind of gets knocked off to the left side right here. Still sitting in the lead, though. And that's a great position to be in in this matchup, because then you don't have to approach. Like, they try to set up in a small area, and if you can move outside of that, they have to come towards you. Oh, good grab into forward air. Ooh, and you saw Vash trying to set up once again to get that gimp. Very smart. Okay, we're gonna scoop him up right here. Get an aerial combo started. Nice back air. Even if you trade, that's okay. You're on the stock. Yeah. Is starting to, ooh. ooh, good conversion off the Holy Cross. Yeah, that was super clean. Great dash attack right there to get him off the stage. Fireball's coming through. Oh, but the ledge traps from Vash are really strong, especially with him spacing out the board air in the back air. And I love to see Dome covering himself by throwing the cross onto the stage or anything that he can to cover the ledge so he can actually get his hands onto it, knowing that, uh, yeah, Bash is looking for that edge guard. Okay, I'm trying to I like the, uh, the conversions that, uh, that Dome is going for now, the adjustments that he's starting to make. Yeah. He's going for a lot less uh, projectile-heavy setup uh, when Bash is on stage and he's going for a lot more tilt and uh, aerials. Right, and there you saw again, he threw the cross to cover himself because I believe that fireball would definitely get him there. Get off the platform. We're just going to air dodge right into him and take no punish for it. All yeah, right, but of course, Bash also getting caught with the way back of the Holy Cross. If uh, the Richter or the Belmonts don't catch the Holy Cross, it just continues to go. Right. Yeah, Bash is getting up quite a few air dodges now. Kind of putting himself in a really bad spot here. Wow, he got caught with the Holy Fro the holy Water even though he was like below the ledge. That shield is non-existent. Okay, finally able to get up and over that slowest jump ever and then back air. <laughs> Clean. Okay, what's the dash dancing we're seeing in there? Ooh, getting the down air into up B. Not going to be enough to take the stock, even though Ridley's at 122. But the up oh. air, just not even giving Bash an opportunity to throw out a box. A and, box. and now suddenly, look how close this is. Uh, Bash was up by a ton and suddenly only separated by 40%. That's right. We see another Holy Cross setup coming out. Landing in there and dragging Bash to the left side of the stage. He's really trapped right now. And now, Dome in the lead. Wow, these, these traps are coming out so strong. Landing in there, it's going to be Vash's opportunity to get some damage yeah. and edge guards. He's going to definitely need to take advantage at this point. He's got him on the stage, maybe just go out there again like he did before, but he's not going to use these fireballs instead. Uh -oh. oh, very unfortunate uh -oh. for Dome. You thought he had the angle for a second, but not quite, not quite. It just looked like he had no force yeah. on tool movement yeah. with his directional air dodge, which is so unfortunate. Yeah, I thought he would go for like a more diagonal, like up, you know, sort of mm -hmm. angle, but he just went straight and yeah. End up in the blast zone, unfortunate for him, but I'm sure Bash is happy because he did have quite a bit of a lead there. Yeah, it was oh, just, it was just kept going back and forth, to be honest. Yeah, Bash. Yeah, exactly. They, they definitely traded the lead there for a while, but game one going to go to him. Let's see what he can do in game two. Of course, no character switch coming out from these two players. But Will don't be able to just start out strong now that he has a, a little bit of data on Bash. All right, we got the down jump right in. That was really clean. I'm just trying to set him up here. Oh, great conversion. Using the board throw and the, the jacket of the Holy Cross and just converting even more damage. Right. And again, that Holy Cross was flying out, so Bash was unable to extend his combo there. Had to go into shield and just lost all of his, uh, his momentum. Another Holy Cross, and now we're going to see. Take this into S Smash. Not enough to actually take the stock. Yeah, luckily for him. Oh, I like the air dodge right there to get through the cross and grab the ledge. Had to be so careful. Yikes, yikes. Oh, he's wow. living! Still not enough. Didn't get the tipper of the S match. I, I guess that does, in fact, make a difference. Here comes the cross again. So much pressure on this man's shield. And every time he jumps again, you see him catch him with an aerial. Well, directional Ooh. air dodge escaping that up air. That definitely would have killed. Yeah. He has not had a moment to get a word in edgewise here. Okay. Ah, you see him shield the, the water, and you know he's still going to go for that forward smash or, you know, forward air or anything. And yeah, it's definitely going to take the stock here. But oh. yeah! <laughs> 
That's all they require. Just one fireball. Count it. <laughs> you out. All right, so even game once again. Man tilt now. Like, whenever Dome lands those death tilt or forward airs, that's when that is like put at the perfect distance that will allow Dome to set up. Right. What? That hit him through the platform? <laughs> that's a big body, boy. What you want? All right, rolling around. Flip like the, the top of his wing or something? <laughs> That hurt box got him. Okay, these back airs are poking at Dome's shield a little bit, but using his down tilt to escape the ledge. Very smart. Yeah, he was able to get a dash attack off of this jump right there. But can he get onto the stage? Oh, that's oh. actually really smart to use your fireball to just flank with uh, the right. holy water. Whenever the holy water flanks with uh, any type of projectile, even like a shield, it actually will hit both players. Right. And I thought that it actually was going to come back down anyway, but it doesn't matter that back air right there going to take out a stock. And suddenly Dome looking like he's very uh, heavily in the lead here. I'm trying to think that maybe this uh, stage select from, from Dome is definitely working in his favor. I know that the Belmonts love to just set up under the platform, make it very difficult to approach them from an aerial view. Right. Right. Oh, accidentally doing that in the wrong direction. Might have had to get there, but second chance, not quite. But still able to get his feet on the floor. Hey, what that's looking for? He tried to throw out an air, but no roll from Dome. Holy Water into f -tilt. He's eating so many of those Holy Waters, man. Oh, I love the landing attack right there. Otherwise, he was definitely going to get knocked off. Oh. Uh, they're down air. He's connecting on his boy, uh, Bash's huge hitbox. Okay, finally able to get the stock, but 102%. And now you're off the stage. Okay. Right down forward air. Yeah, you saw that Dome wasn't able to set up the Holy Water into anything, so Bash was able to attack his way back on. Direct my air down to the cross, and that just makes you, it forces your, your get up option just to. Forces you to use the get up option at the ledge. All these projectiles can throw at you. Right. Ooh, finally able to catch him. How many did he throw? We need like a counter. How many times oh. did he say, take this? <laughs> take this, take, take this, take that counter would be off the charts, <laughs> for sure. All right, so it's going to be 1-1 one, one right here, and we're going to go into a Game 3 situation. I'm wondering what the counterpick stage is going to be for him, because you are right. That, that Having the platforms above him helps so much. It's so difficult. Uh, honestly, from all the other Richters that I've seen, including Dome, uh, you don't want to go to Carlos. Carlos is, like, one of the best stages. I would say that Carlos in, in uh, Battlefield are actually the Belmont's favorite stages. Just because of how they were able to set up. Oh, okay. Alright, so here we go into this game three situation. Both of them just look so calm. It's like, alright, I want a game, I want a game. It's just the focus that comes down to a game three situation. Right. Alright, so both of them gonna immediately go to set up their projectiles. But uh, Rick and Saul come way across the stage and immediately get in uh, Ridley's face. Of course, the Holy Cross coming in clutch for Dome. He's gotten so much mileage just off the back hit of the Holy Cross. We see a down throw into there. Ooh, I'm going for even more damage, but covering low. Oh, ooh, that was too clean. He knew the perfect timing for that, too. Let the cross hit him all the fire. And then up smash the way he got it in. Wow, bouncing off the shield, too. Like, okay, I'll leave. If you're not going to drop shield, that's a okay. <laughs> But the back air does connect. Or to use the directional air dodge, and that's going to be. Oh, is he going to be able to. No, no. Not, not able to just uh, tether back to the stage. That's the unfortunate thing we've seen the entire time. One of them gets a crazy clean early stock and then immediately equalized. <laughs> I mean, that is definitely the, the name of this game that, we, that we've been watching. Right. Alright, so. Uh, okay, you see uh, Bash trying to push a little bit more aggressive, but he kind of stood there and allowed him to dash back to him. Now we see all these aerials just connecting for ah! Oh, going too low! The accidental drift right there going to cost him quite a bit, only at 26% is going. But if Bash can get another one of those sick combos we saw earlier, he might be okay here. Oh, oh, he had the roll read too. He did, but just I don't did know. did not pull the trigger. Yeah, like, well, uh, he went into shield, just a little bit stuck here. Okay. Alright, that's Yeah, not able to really convert off the Holy Water. Oh, oh we see that another combo. Yeah, his, his Holy Cross combos are very, very clean. Yeah, Yikes, he's lucky he didn't try to go into that forward smash even though he shielded it because it did shield poke right there. Oh, just going out in front, a flurry of attacks from Dome. Yeah. so hard for just a big yeah. character like really to get there. Yeah, okay, so great stuff by Dome right there. You saw Vash sort of looked a little more reserved at the end of that set. Of course, kind of rolling a bit, going into a shield way too much. And like you said, he had that read on the roll, but didn't pull the trigger.